Well, many saw the Knuckles show being one of about Wade. The most interesting story you'll find that was told was about the Flames of Disaster. Episode 4 of the Knuckles show, you'll find a very interesting story that they tell. As Wade gets captured by his former best friend, he has to embrace Knuckles' his history in order to figure out a way to escape. Hence, he goes into his subconscious to connect with his history. This bowling alley that Wade goes into, he meets Knuckles' tribe leader, Pachamak, who was the one who also sent Knuckles on this quest to help train Wade. And thus begins this interesting story that they tell about Knuckles through a musical. While this musical does appear to be very questionable, it definitely tells a very unique story element as shown in the musical. As the song is listed, you can also search it up. It is called The Flames of Disaster, and you get slight discussion about his backstory, about his father as he died, but then right here, it goes about this quest of where he goes in search of a power, as it says, Now Knuckles was sad and alone, without a father and without a home. He's off to find off on his own. He just needed the power. And thus, he searches for the Flames of Disaster. If you don't know what the Flames of Disaster is, that is, is pretty much Iblis, which is the half of Solaris. Just for a quick recap, Solaris was part of a project in Sonic 06 that went wrong and because of it, they, Solaris was split in two that created Mephilus the Dark and Iblis who would create the dark timeline that Silver originated from. This followed in Sonic 06 and in the story, Iblis was sealed within a leash. If she were to cry, she would release Iblis into the world. There were pretty much two ways in which Iblis was released. The first being Elise dying on the battleship, and then the other one being Elise crying. Now, with Elise crying, this created a much better, I guess, an effective way for Iblis to merge with Iblis to bring back Solaris and return to that form. Getting back to the song, they, once they go into showing Iblis, they show him as this animatronic demon in a way, talking about how he's going to destroy him and might hit up Facebook Marketplace to see some good deals on some cool stuff. So yes, it is canonical that Iblis enjoys Facebook Market. Moving on, they, talk, they go into the fight, and as it appears, Knuckles struggles a bit, but then he's able to find the strength within, and he is now able to wield the Flames of Disaster, which we do see in the final episode for the final fight, as both of his hands light up and he's able to unleash some fire attacks, which looks incredible. Pretty an interesting contrast in comparison to the abilities that Sonic's being shown to have in this universe, as he has electricity powers, and Knuckles has fire powers. So I'm curious if each character will actually have their own unique element to them. Because I, I can see, honestly see um, Tails in a way having like more wind abilities to him. Because uh, of like all, of all the uh, different wind names that he has to himself. Like the tornado, the hurricane, the typhoon. I feel like a wind ability would be great for him in the future. However, this power could honestly also backfire on Knuckles. Even though they don't fully go into what exactly happened after the fight, we can probably assume that part of Iblis resides within Knuckles, as it's still called the Flames of Disaster. While it is a bit hard to interpret what could happen, I definitely see this playing out the, sim the same way as it's a, um, an inner demon type of way, as stated before with Elise, where if something were to happen with Knuckles, this is where it would create the Iblis storyline for the universe. If possible, it could honestly look like Knuckles would end up being the Iblis trigger of this universe. And not, not in the way where he will be the one to end, end the world, but the one where um, he needs to be protected make sure that Iblis doesn't come out, hence if Silver were to be introduced, they could have him come into this timeline and try to protect Knuckles to ensure that nothing were to happen to him. 
And with Iblis now being existing in the universe, it's now possible to also think about Mephilus as well, as he is also the other half of Iblis, so it, it might be possible for him to exist. It's not sure exactly how he exists, so I'm get, it's likely possible that they both have their own universe or dimension where they reside within, So and that's how... Um, both of them exist, so like one gets like their own world to, to live on, and while the other like is dormant and independent from its own. It's definitely gonna be a while before they go into more story of revolving around 06, but I can definitely see it playing out very well, because they definitely have an opportunity to do, to do a great story with 06, and give it a much better adaptation than a lot of people it can expect. If this actually plays out well, we might actually see Silver a lot sooner than we'd expect, and may even get a, an incredible adaptation of the character as well. Let me know what you guys think will happen forward with Knuckles. Will he truly end up being the Iblis Trigger, or will he end up being the one who will sacrifice himself to stop Iblis. If you have any other topics you want me to cover all surrounding this series, let me know in the comments. Thank y'all for watching and be sure to subscribe. I'll see y'all soon.